Iran-Israel News Now The Houthis are ready for a full Iran-Israel war. A senior official of the powerful Yemeni movement already fighting Israel and the U.S. told Newsweek that the group will support its Iran-aligned alliance if the Gaza conflict escalates into a regional war. As for our defense of ourselves, our region, and our alliances, such as the Axis of Resistance, Nasreddin Amr, Deputy Information Secretary for Ansar Allah, the Houthis, told Newsweek, we will certainly never stand idly by in the face of any foreign, Western aggression against any country in our Islamic world. Since the Gaza battle began over seven months ago, other Axis of Resistance forces like Hezbollah and the Islamic resistance in Iraq have joined the fight. However, Israel's bombing on Iran's embassy building in Syria killed several military people, and Iran launched a huge missile and drone attack on Israel earlier this month, raising tensions. Israel reportedly launched a missile strike on Iran after Ansar Allah and other Axis of Resistance factions in Lebanon, Iraq, and Syria joined that historic barrage. If an all-out escalation occurred, Amr said the group would lead and defend its Axis of Resistance partners. We will never leave it alone, even if it is a country we disagree with, Amr stated. When it comes to our allies, such as the Islamic Republic of Iran and other axis of jihad and resistance parties, we shall stand with full might and resolve together, and these are Quranic teachings. The comments come as Ansar Allah continues its unparalleled campaign of marine attacks on largely commercial ships in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden and long-range missile and drone strikes against Israel. Already facing repeated U.S. and U.K. airstrikes, the group has said its campaign will not end until Israel stops its offensive against Gaza, where war has raged since Hamas attacked Israel on October 7, 2023. Also, Ansar Allah claims direct attacks on U.S. equipment. On Monday, Ansar Allah military spokesperson Yehya Sari claimed that naval, missile, and air forces struck two U.S. warships and the Cyclades cargo ship which U.S. officials and maritime trackers identified as Malta-flagged and Greece-owned. In reaction, U.S. Central Command said Iranian-backed Houthi terrorists fired three anti-ship ballistic missiles, ASBM, and three UAVs from Yemen into the Red Sea into the Cyclades. The statement also said U.S. assets effectively engaged and destroyed one Houthi-launched airborne unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, on a flight route toward the USS Philippine Sea and USS Laboon in the Red Sea. After another incident, CENTCOM reported that U.S. forces effectively engaged and destroyed an uncrewed surface vessel, USV, in Iranian-backed Houthi terrorist-controlled parts of Yemen. The USV posed an urgent threat to U.S., coalition forces, and commerce vessels in the region, CENTCOM said. These efforts maintain freedom of navigation and make international seas safer and more secure for U.S., coalition, and commerce boats. Just two days before, Ansar Allah claimed credit for downing a U.S. MQ-9 Reaper drone, carrying out hostile missions over Sada. The Pentagon acknowledged the loss of a UAV, without confirming hostile involvement. Newsweek asked U.S. Central Command. The Yemeni armed forces confirm that they will continue to carry out more military operations in support of the Palestinian people until the siege is lifted and the aggression against the Palestinian people in Gaza Strip is terminated, Sari stated.